morning, Twitchies. Good morning, birds. Good morning, busy, buzzy bees. You know, she dies. Don't be a celebrity. I already had my coffee this morning, I had a bagel, Your boy, what up? Oh, what's up, what's up? Oh, let's just make sure that's muted. Yeah, we're good. Right. Yeah, I just, I just showered, I know, I know. Um... No, I didn't forget the test, boys. I wrote y'all a test. We're going to have a test today. Uh, we're going to wait for some people to get in here. And there's no morning music. No, no, no emo vibe this morning. Uh, wait, what? I thought I muted that. Oh, that's the echo from the old. What? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Mute. Uh, maybe we have another, uh, I got the test. I got the test. Um, first we're going to read a little story. Uh, oh, well, yeah, yeah. That's the test, but we can't see the test yet. What's making noise? Um, what is it? So maximizing your slut impact. Yes. Ha, ha yes. We're going to we're going to read this. Uh this girl was on uh Clubhouse last night and I thought she was making some some really good points. So, you know, I mean, like it or not, oh, here it's this one. We got to close. Uh, I'm kind of in the cam girl business. Uh so, you know, I'm I'm a What's leaked? Leaked. Oh yeah, the first question on the test is are you a subscriber? Um, I hope you all read the paper, you know? Um, so well, let's read this document and understand how I can be a better cam girl. Uh, if you don't know about Clubhouse, I can't tell you about Clubhouse. I'm not joking about the test. I actually made a fucking test. <laughs> um, so uh, my credentials, I was a cam girl for five years. Uh, my highest earning month was $50,000 and my highest rank on MFC was number seven. Meaning I earned the seventh most money that month. My rank on Twitch is nowhere near number seven. And um, you know, I'd like to be a more successful uh, cam girl. Um, yeah, so maybe we're gonna institute some of these things around the uh, if you're uncertain on whether you want a cam, you know, there's a lot of flexibility in how you do it. You can set whatever limits you want. The highest earning cam girl on MFC at one point, earning over a million a year, was a non-nude model. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna put nudity uh, off the table. Um, estimating my earning potential. Uh, well, we're not gonna go. I don't think the beauty scale applies here. Um, am I beautiful? But yeah, I, I, I think uh, none of this applies if you appear male. If you appear male, uh, God help you. Um, so which cam category to choose? Uh, token sites or private sites? Um, so I checked out Bonga cams. Bonga cams looks like a token site. Remember how popular Bonga cams was? Uh, so, by the way, I really do appreciate all you subscribers. Thank you all for, for contributing to my... You are good people. Uh, I want to give you validation and attention, which is what I learned that I have to give from this document. Um, so this is... Uh, the ones that have the best rate typically take 50% of what's given to you. So Twitch, Bits, Twitch, Take. Uh, I mean, the Bits are effectively tokens. Uh... Oh, I'm going to apply for partnership. I'm working toward partnership because I live in New York now and I'm taking streaming very seriously. The test is coming. We gotta, we, everyone only gets 10 minutes for the test. So, you know, I can't release the test early, right? 
Um, there is a test, yes. There is going to be a test. I made a test, yes. Um, we got to figure out how many like bits. Uh, wow. Wait, it's only 29%? Oh, that's pretty good. That's a lot better than CAM websites. Oh, I can negotiate a better split. All right, that's good to know. Um, so which CAM site to choose? So I've chosen uh, Twitch. I'm not on Spank Chain. Uh, what am I going to do to people who don't pass the test? So you're just going to have to tune in and find out. Um, there's a test. I promise you, there's a test. Uh, what to buy? Um, so yeah, nearly every cam girl I've seen has used Logitech webcams. Uh, I'm using the camera built into my MacBook, so hopefully I'm going to take some of my Twitch money, which I'm not allowed to show you, and I'm going to purchase a Logitech uh, C920. Usually I use an external microphone. I know you guys really just watch the stream for the nice tapping on the keyboards. Uh, all right, good quality camera. All right, good, good, good. I'm glad we're happy. I mean, you know, look, half of my stream is my screen anyway, so I don't think this applies to me as much as a, as a cam girl. Okay. Uh, setting up your Emporium. Uh, so ideally you want a good deal of space between you and the wall behind me. I think, I think this is pretty good. We have some light. Yeah, some girls had DSLRs, uh, which is great if you can do it, but you know, I'm poor, so I'm not really poor though. Actually, I gotta tell you guys that I'm not poor for later. The test is coming. What, violation of the TOS for that? Come on. It's a, it's a constructive image. It's an educational image. I'm not gonna get banned for that. If Twitch bans me for that, come on. I've seen Alinity dressed like that, and Alinity's not banned. Um, this is a violation? What do you mean? That's on like, that's on like ABC. <laughs> what? No, 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 that's ridiculous, that's ridiculous. Um, you're gonna have to provide your real name, social security number, and photo of an ID. I've already done all of that, that's okay. Um, choosing a name. You want an accessible, feminine, non-sexualized name. My name was my name and how I got the name accidentally, Ella. Uh, so my name is George Hotz. I think that's a, a good choice. Um, experiment with the way you prevent, present yourself. In general though, I found that no matter how much high-end super lace lingerie and red lipstick I've put on, the thing that gets uh, the best reaction is a good old thin tight t-shirt with no bra. Anything that emphasizes your sexy curves to the max is ideal. And anything that makes you <laughs> look effortless. Yeah, look, I'm effortless, man. The girl next door looks probably the most popular. I just rolled out of bed looking like this. No, I showered this morning. Uh, no, no bra. Going braless. And can you translate your last verse? I don't speak walrus. Um... Your first days are going to suck ass. Yeah, well, so I'm already past my first days. I'm actually a famous Twitch streamer. Uh, I was just looking. I got like like 30-something thousand subscribers. Bros, I'm, I'm famous. So don't be famous, though, you know, but be kind of like, like, is Ella famous? Ella's the amount of famous I want to be. She's making 50K a month on that cam girlish, you know? That's, that's kind of where I want to be. Right? If I could be making 50k a month streaming on Twitch, yeah, I'll tell you about Clubhouse. I'm not joking about the. Uh, I can, uh, I can, you know. Wait, what? Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to. No, this. How do I see how many people are watching my streamy? Yeah, we'll just refresh. Emphasize your sexy. Yeah, 50k a month, man. All right, we got, we're up to 339. Once we get to 500, we'll, uh, we'll do the test. Um, the largest streamer in this category has 15K plus viewers doing more simple things. So there's a lot of room for growth. Yeah, we're going to learn about some growth techniques in here. Um, 439 right now. Right, when we get past 500, we'll, we'll do the test. Uh, you'll dance around a little bit, put the camera at flattering angles, play nice music. Oh shit, and light candles. We need candles. All right. Before logging on, watch other cam girls on the site. And this is probably good advice. 
I should watch other Twitch streamers. Um, no date last night. I got a date tonight. Um, but basically, you want to make friends with girls who are willing to promote you or retweet here or link to you. Nah, this is all. Ooh, cam girl networking. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good idea. All right. Um, I should write down a list of things that I can do that are visually appealing. That's a good point. That's why you guys like Twitch Slam. It was visually appealing. It's clean. I just washed it. Um, it's wet. Uh, you need to be constantly interesting. Okay, I try. Um, when I started, my go-to time filler was putting on absurdly epic music and dancing hyper dramatically or getting very drunk and naked and trying to make mac and cheese. All right, these are good ideas. These are good ideas, boys. <laughs> um, uh, to girlfriend or not to girlfriend? I, you guys might want emotional support off cam, but I'm not a girlfriend. I ignore my members off cam. My work day ends when I turn off the camera. This will be great for my mental health, but I won't catch any hyper-loyal whales. What? These are great suggestions. These are great suggestions. Wow, we're really getting people in here. Come on, welcome to the stream. We're past 500. Woo! Junk mac and cheese stream. Yeah, some content ideas. I know you all liked cooking. Um, Off-site content and social media. No, I refuse to use this. By the way, you all better follow me on Instagram. Um, when I, you, know, you know how I met these girls that I'm going on dates with? The DMs, boys, and I go on, I get better uh, dates if I have more followers, because when I DM Instagram girls, they're like, damn, this guy's got a lot of followers. He must be famous, right? Um, <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, let's, let's, uh, offsite content and social media. Yeah, 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 no, okay. Yeah, this is, this is where it got interesting. Um, but once you have the viewers, I have the viewers, I'm exiting the fetus stage into, okay, now I want to pay my rent. So my rent for this place is about, I'm, I'm paying about four grand. Um, so right now, my I'm making about $100 a stream on Twitch. So I need to increase my revenue uh, if I want to pay my rent using my, uh, using my, my, my Twitch. How do I reconcile using Instagram as a Facebook product? Anne Rand took social security. Uh, okay, this revolves around countdowns, your bread and fucking butter. Countdowns are where you set an amount of tokens as a goal. By the way, could we give a shout out to the person yesterday who bought people subscriptions? You are a whale and I like you. Do we remember who that was? We should give them, we should shout out their username, understand that I know you, I'm paying attention to you. Um, I bought a van, I bought a van with an energy drink in each hand, tentatively yelling fuck plans. Uh, all right. Uh, most tip-based cam sites have their countdowns automated. I don't know how to do countdowns, but, oh yeah, these people. Sir John Dukic, thank you for giving me your five bits, but come on, someone else can be number one. Come on, can anyone got some bits? CJ Slider 14, thank you for subscribing. We're having coffee today. Um, yeah, I actually was bottom five in my class. It's true. Um, that gifted subs dude from John. John's the man. Um, all right. So, no, we, we really do. We really appreciate people like that. Uh, Niels Webb, thank you for subscribing. We got a hype train. Woo! All right, am I being a good cam girl? Um, download Streamlabs OBS so you can set subscriber alerts. Oh, this is a good point. Oh yeah, yeah. We gotta cheer for the subscribers. We got we gotta make people feel uh, validated. Um, Robin Duckett, no way, no way. You about to be number one? Yeah, we got a hype train up in here. All right. Um, whoa, account. No, we don't have any count. Oh, that's kind of what hype trains are. Um, you have to do a final countdown. This is the countdown to your ultimate goal. Basically, whatever the craziest or sexiest thing I'm planning on doing that night. Well, I'm not going to masturbate, but, you know, I'm non-nude. So I can do things like play an instrument or cover my face in whipped cream. These are good, these are good content suggestions. 
<laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We're not doing that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't do things like that. Whoa. Who are these men and what do they want? And I was thinking, like, really? How much does this apply to you guys? <laughs> There's different types, obviously, but the most common tipper is a single, divorced, unhappily married man in his 40s and 50s who is too depressed, anxious, unattractive to be able to get any affection from women in real life. <laughs> um, ah, yes. You see, you're not just trying to get a guy to pay you. You're trying to get a guy to pay you in front of a bunch of other guys. This is super key. A man wants to feel attention from an attractive woman on him. And this is made even more satisfying when it's to the exclusion of those around him. He is showing off his power by buying your happiness. So when tipped, make sure you say his name or username. A lot of girls use subtly masculine competition language when referring to high tippers. Woo! Blendsism, light of hell, thank you for subscribing. You guys are great. Nate PH, you should feel attacked. You should subscribe. You know, you could subscribe. Come on. Um. <laughs> no, I swear I made the test. The test is coming. The test is coming. You gotta, you gotta, we're gonna have a countdown to the test. Let's see if we can get this hype train all the way up. We get the hype train all the way up. As soon as we're at max level hype train is when I release the test. Um, so we're at level two right now. Let's, let's keep this hype train going. This is a countdown. Um, if I played the final countdown, I'm going to get muted. So we're not going to do that. Go, go. Yeah, when you subscribe but don't get a shout out. Anne Rose Style, thank you for subscribing. Um, antagonism toward you. I recommend if you have the money to spare, go find a low earning cam girl and tip her an amount you think will make her happy. So I'm going to go find a programming stream on Twitch and I'm going to subscribe to them and I'm going to pay attention to how that feels. Because if, if I really <laughs> want to understand, yeah, level three, level three, come on, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, I mean, this is, a, this is a fair point. I don't think women easily empathize with the life of unattractive men. Women get constant messages that you are beautiful and you are desirable. They get social support, and easily accessible, casual sex, if they ever wanted it. Men do not live in a world where people are supporting them, uh, where people are supporting them even when no one seems to want them. Men are lonelier and have fewer options of healing that loneliness. <laughs> Um, I mean, this goes into pretty good stuff. So, you know, I'm supposed to work to make subscribers uh, earn approval. Um, so now you're constantly earning $30 an hour. So I'm earning about $30 an hour. That's great, but how do I rise up? How do I actually get tips? You probably know about whales. Whales are the rare, wonderful person who comes along and gives you a significant chunk of your income. How do you get whales? A lot of it is high variance. A tiny fraction of the cam watching population is made out of very rich men. So you may get one passing through your cam room once a week without you even knowing. I bet some of you guys like founded startups, sold them for a ton of money, and now you're super rich. <laughs> um, I also need games and I have to be the girl they want to tip. Uh, I have to make you all forget it's about money, and I definitely don't talk about other boys in my life. It's a good point. Uh, I gotta do personal branding, I gotta deal with the emotional burden, and I'm not worried about security, and I pay my taxes, boys. So, in conclusion, be hot, don't expect to be too hot, chill out, don't look like you're trying too hard, but really try as hard as you can. Look rich, be accessible, don't beg or be sad. Create tension and competition. Be kind and address emotional needs. Also use emotional needs for financial gain, but also be kind. Work your stuff like a business. Prepare for stress so much that you aren't stressed. Maybe be a bitch, but probably only a little bit. And like, have fun and stuff. This can be a super fun and rewarding job if you approach it with a spirit of playfulness. Okay. Let's go. Who's ready for the test? You all got 10 minutes. I'm gonna post the link. You have 10 minutes to do the tests. You all ready? Send. Uh, so, uh, all answers are multiple choice or whole numbers. You all ready? Three, two, 
One, 10 minutes starts now. The subscriber question, don't worry, it doesn't, it doesn't count for anything. There's no wrong answer, there's only a right answer, um, which is the truth. And if I find out you lied, you're banned for life. I said, don't lie. Uh, at, you all have 10 minutes for the test. We're gonna see the responses start to come in. Um, I think 10 minutes should be enough. It's not too hard of a test. Uh, if we don't have enough responses, we'll extend it to 15, and then we'll go through the uh, answers. Uh, the link is right there. Please, please share the link. Linky, 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 linky. Um, yeah, so cam girls tend to drink a lot. My friend told me once she used to get on cam, black out, and wake up every morning with $1,000. Well, we're not going to do that. That's right. We're, we're all about Christian channel. Um, yeah, who didn't read the fucking paper, you know? Why not? What excuse do you have today? Oh, what is Ravens? Oh, mm, I don't know. Uh, by the way, do not share answers in chat. Share answers in chat equal ban. Y'all thought I didn't make a test. We got three responses already, wow. Um, <laughs> if you get your username wrong, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, I'll share the link one more time. Whether it's short and you are out. Uh, level two hype train. It's not hard. They're easy questions. I'll have a little tea. Uh, no, well, yes, you should be a subscriber, but if I found out you lied, I'm gonna cross-reference it. Um, do my test, do my test. I read this shit and the test look like it's in Spanish. Did you read the paper? You all have, you all have eight more minutes. Wow, this program got long. Yeah, you were supposed to read the paper so you could pass the test. Bernardo Fire, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Um, maybe while we waste time, maybe while, you know, you guys focus on the test, mute my channel. Um, but in the meantime, we can respond to a couple of comments. Uh, is it really that hard for you to understand that some people idolize you and value your opinion? Yes, yeah, stop. Stop idolizing people. Idolize ideas. Stop valuing my opinion. Start valuing truth. Um, you start lecturing people and asking holier than now when there's only one, really you to blame since you knew the outcome but you expected something else to happen um, George knows how to manipulate his fans do you know how? he is very good at programming and saying things like crypto for society Google is evil D centralized internet and that is all you need to get from teenager i feel like i've read a big homie comment on stream before and see i find it interesting that we have george knows how to manipulate his fans and man george is absolutely the worst advocate for his ideas if you can't even communicate and persuade your fans into seeing the world the way you do then god help you in your future endeavors see you're all trying to think that I'm, you're also think, you know, you think like, oh man, you know, I watch a Charmin toilet paper commercial and they're trying to persuade me to buy Charmin toilet paper. I don't care if you buy Charmin toilet paper. To be honest, as a Donald Trump quote where it's like, you know, I never really cared about the money. It was just a nice way to keep score. And that's kind of how I feel about Twitch and subscribers, right? I don't need your money, but it's a nice way to keep score. I do like winning and I like being better than other people, but... The moral of the story is, 
I'm not trying to shill you on anything, man. I would much prefer somebody who says, I think crypto is stupid. Google is actually on balance pretty good. Uh, the decentralized internet is always going to be shittier than the centralized internet. If somebody holds those opinions and advocates them intelligently, I like that person a whole lot better than someone who goes around, yeah, Google is evil, yeah, chant my stupid slogan, you know, taste the rainbow, you know, slogan chanting losers. All right, we got five minutes left on the test. How are you all doing? We doing good? Um, what if we don't, what to write if we don't know? Um, no, I, I honestly, like, like there's a correct contrarian corner. I'm not trying to convince you to be in the correct contrarian corner. I'm trying to convince you to like, you know, I don't know, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Uh, yo, sneaker bot. Should we make a sneaker bot? Everyone say this is educational, but no one tells me what the fuck he's doing. Will there be accommodations for the dyslexic for the test? Let me tell you. You know who's really testing you? You know who the war is against? The war is not against Google. The war is not against centralization, capitalism, communism, whatever, whatever. The war is against nature. If you're out trying to hunt... What are those things, man? You know, those like like pig things? Boar. If you're out trying to hunt a boar and you ask, will there be accommodations for the dyslexic for the boar hunt? That's the same answer that you get for the test. I'm glad you appreciate the song. Can you please start teach me how to start ethical hacking courses? I would rather unethical hacking than ethical hacking, but I think both of them is a stupid false dichotomy. Hacking is a skill that doesn't have anything to do with ethics. Um, oh, this is only teaching you ethical hacking. You only get the coronavirus if you go to a protest against the coronavirus, not a protest for socially progressive causes. That's right. Um, yeah, I mean, everyone would benefit from that, but that's all a lot of work. All right, cool. Uh, how we doing? How we doing, boys? 41 responses. We got, we got, we got three minutes. How are people doing? Can you pass the class without today's homework? No. What's RMS, what did RMS say about hacking? All right, we'll post the test link once more. Maybe we'll give people 15 minutes since I know there's 665 people in this channel and we only got uh, 48 responses. Yeah, it's a hiring strategy, right? You're gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get DM spam on Twitch, trying to get you to. Uh, what did Stallman say about hacking? <laughs> yeah, I mean he's right. Hackers had typically little respect for silly rules, so they looked for ways around. Oh my god. Mm, didn't even try the test. 90% of viewers, you guys are all bots? Do the bots subscribe and give me money? <laughs> One minute remaining. Mm. No, I don't know. Maybe we won't give any extended time. 62. You would participate, but I haven't been on the stream for a while. You don't have to subscribe for the test. Subscribers is totally separate from the test. Um, but you guys are going to get, I think I'm going to make everyone who does well enough on the tests VIPs on the Twitch channel. What's the bell distribution of your audience regarding skill set? So I didn't actually write the thing to grade this test. We're going to do it online. Um, yeah, the Ravens questions are some like IQ 101 shit. Okay, you didn't do the homework. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, all right, one minute, one minute, boys. Let's go, let's go. You gave up on the tarring part because you didn't read the paper. 
Oh, you didn't put your real username. No, all right, all right, all right. You're late. You just started. All right, five more minutes. Everyone, we get five more minutes for the test. Pigeons don't fly far. You, time out. Um, so I was thinking about, uh, I was thinking about writing a bot, which is going to time out everybody. I don't think you get to talk in this stream if, uh, you didn't do well on the test. You didn't know there'd be a test. Well, you didn't watch yesterday's stream. Now, did you? Someone linked the paper. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now you're like, oh, where's the paper? Oh, can I borrow the book, man? Come on. Can I borrow your copy of the book? Um... Imagine not watching. <laughs> you watched a number file video on Busy Beaver. If you watched a number file busy video, it might be enough to pass this test. None of the questions are like particularly hard. Um, they, they were all kind of just. Can you submit one, more than one response? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. Um, if, if you want to resubmit, you can submit another response. I will grade only your worst one. Uh, that timeout is actually good. Yeah, right? Um, let's see. Uh, Twitch bot for timeout. Um, coding. Are we going to spend this whole stream coding a Twitch bot to try to ban all the, the, the peoples? Nightbot.tv. Can this do what I want? I, I, I looked a bit. Ooh, giveaways. Timers. Regulars. Ah. Let's see, are there any more features? I mean, I, I really want I really want some way to to show. Uh, yeah, you put your name as George Chats. I'm gonna ban myself. Yeah, yeah, you're funny. Check Fossabot. I mean, I want something where I can just have a whitelist of who's allowed to chat. Uh, regular expressions. Who's she? Oh, does she have a nice schedule? Oh, she played The Last of Us, too. I heard terrible things. Oh, she's a streamer from Canada living in California, eh? Uh, wait, no, I got distracted, sorry. Um, getting started. Get checking my Gmail. Yo, have you guys been, have you guys been, uh... You guys, you guys uh, follow me on Instagram? Make sure you follow me. Oh my God, a lot of people have been reaching out for, for spam. Um, all right, you got two more minutes on the test. You're not gonna get any new time. You're not gonna get any more time. You got 109 responses, this is great. Uh, can you stay in chat if you follow me on Instagram? So I'm not going to kick, everyone can watch the stream. It's just, you know, if you're, uh, you do well on the test, you get the privilege of talking. Um, how did I do what with constant distractions? How did I write this test? It took like 10 minutes, guys. 109 responses. No, if you didn't fill out the test, you're also banned. You can't. You didn't get out of it by, oh, I didn't hand in my test. Therefore, you can't give me a bad grade. No, you get a zero. Um, you just joined. Where's the test? If you just joined, you missed the test. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Is there, there's a nice way to, like, close responses. Um... Oh, make this a quiz. Oh. Oh, shuffle question order. Oh, that might have been smart. 
Uh, no, I think I couldn't do that. Uh, see summary charts and text responses. I don't know how to close responses. How do I do that? Google Forms close responses. I'm not good at this. Oh, yes. Open a form in Google Forms. At the top, click responses. Oh, we're not going to click that yet. Okay, guys. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all. We got some. Yeah, all right. Cool. The form is no longer accepting responses. Are you a current subscriber? No. Yes. Answer to Ravens 1. All right. Good. Ask the audience. The answer is 7. That's true. Um, so we can go to the test and we can look at why it's 7. Uh, so does everyone see why it's 7? And put this here. And I'll put this. Uh, I'm going to make me smaller. Hang on. Let me just make sure I didn't do this terribly. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, and let me get, let me bring up the chat on here. This is hard to use. One of these days I'll figure out how to use technology, you know? My channel. Oh, there we go, my channel. No, videos, live. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, so seven is the right answer here. One of these days I'll figure out how to use technology, you know? Uh, for you people who didn't say seven, I, I don't know. We got a bunch of ones. Why do you think it's one? Why do you think it matches this one? And two, you think it matches this one? Look, they're moving. The diamonds are moving, right? Quick question, how many diamonds are there in this uh, thing? I thought about asking that, but then you know, it's kind of a trick question because there's really four on each and there's eight and eight. So you know, eight plus eight is 16 times four is 64, but nah, okay, that was too much. Okay, this one, it seems like more people got wrong. The correct answer, of course, is five. Um, and it's five because you can look at the bottom row and see that there's liney like this, liney like this, liney like this, liney like this. And then actually just lineys like that, plus the fact that there's uh, three hollows, three guitaries, and three uh, uh, solids um, already tells you the answer is five. It seems like we also got an answer of three. Honestly, you know what? Just, just, just from this, like this is some, some bad neural network shit. Like you could see how a dumb neural network would answer three, and that's apparently what 10 of you uh, responded. Okay. Um, so what does the Python code do? Uh, I'm sure, yeah, 39 is the right answer. Uh, so if you actually want to run that, um, there's a few subtle tricks to it. Uh, so I think some people didn't get the echo two to work, uh, and that's why we have a bunch that are, oh, it's just one higher. I guess that's because OS didn't run on your system. So if you just try to type it into Python, it doesn't work, but you have to import math. Um, and then you don't have NP, so you know this is a question, have you done any scientific computing? Import NumPy as NP, and now you're missing OS, so import OS. And then that's the troll you if you were on Windows. OS system echo 2 does not return 2, it returns 0. Uh, it should return 0, I believe. We can check that. Uh, yeah, it returned zero because the echo succeeded, right? Da Chimp, thank you for uh, gifting. Thank you for gifting a sub. You're cool. Um, okay. Uh, what is the derivative of 3x squared plus x? Uh, most people got it right. Wait, actually, only 38.6% of people got the Python question right. You just literally had to copy and paste that one into Python. You know, you see, like, this is not a hard test. <laughs> it's not 39. No, the answer is uh, that. 1, 2, 0, 2, 8, 9. Uh, I just wrote some, some dumb. You had to copy and paste it into Python and figure out three import statements. Um, okay. Uh, what is the derivative of 3x squared plus x? Uh, again, how did only 70% of people get this one right? A 3x squared, so you take the 2, you put it down, 6x, what's the derivative of x? It's 1, it's 6x plus 1, right? Or, you know, if you're like, oh, I have no idea. 
I just go to Wolfram Alpha, right? And I say derivative of, I probably don't even have to spell it right. We'll see if I have to spell it right. Look, I don't even have to spell it right. Here we go, Wolfram Alpha gave me the answer. You guys telling me you couldn't do that? No, it's not cheating. Did I give any rules for the test? Are you guys hackers or not? <laughs> it's not cheating, man. It's called using fucking Google. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, if it takes 10 dogs 10 years to make 10 castles, how many years does it take 100 dogs to make 100 castles? Um, so I'm glad to see that 65% of you did get the right answer here. The answer is obviously not 100 years. Uh, 100 years is a stupid answer, right? 10 dogs make 10 castles in 10 years. I can parallelize that times 10. Uh, and I can get, of course, 10. How many steps does it take for Turing 1 to halt? Okay, let's go look at Turing 1 here. Um, okay, less people got this one correct, but four people did. Um, how many steps does it take to halt? Well, so you're here. The first thing on the tape is gonna be a zero. So you move to the right and you move into state here. The next thing on the tape is also gonna be a zero. Move into state here. Next thing's gonna be here. And the next thing is gonna be here. So that's one step, two steps, three steps, four steps. So this is the correct answer, four. How many ones does it write to the tape? Also four. Uh, this writes a one to the tape, one to the tape, one to the tape, one to the tape. Okay, good to see the 20 people got that one correct. Um, turn two might be an answer for busy beaver for what n states. So how many states are there in Turing machine two? Um, in Turing machine two, you'll find there's A, B, C, D, and Z. Z is the halting state. The halting state doesn't count. So there are four states. The answer is four. So if anyone guessed four for everything, they probably did pretty well, except the answer to this one was not four. Uh, how many symbols is it? Well, it has a zero, a one, and a two. We talked about this briefly in yesterday's stream where we said how many things are going out. Um, so we have uh, three is the right answer here. Uh, two is not the right answer here. Um, what is believed to be the largest number of ones written to the tape after uh, running a Turing machine with five states and two symbols on a blank tape? So another way to ask this question is, what is Busy Beaver 5? What's the actual number? The definition of what we've been discussing. 4,098 is the correct answer, and 16 people got that right. I'm surprised that literally the whole point of the stream, Busy Beaver 5, this is actually the one the least people got right at 16. Uh, what's the y-intercept of the line? Um, y minus 5 equals x plus 3. You add 5 to both sides of that. You get y equals x plus 8, y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept 8. 64 people got that right. Um, and the paper defines k halting. Uh, what uh, k is believed to be for true Busy Beavers, and the answer is 1. Okay, guys, that was the test. Now, let's see uh, how you all did when we grade it. All right, inappropriate, inappropriate, deleted. Okay. Um, So now we're going to watch me struggle to use spreadsheets. All right, so we want to say if, I think there is a way to grade it. <laughs> All right, you know what? Yeah, you know what? No, 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 no usernames. People are too inappropriate with them. Um, okay, so the answer to the first one is equals, equals D, uh, this equals D3 equals equals seven. Error. Formula parse error. Okay. Uh, Google Sheets compare. 
Yeah, we're coding in Excel now. I, I know. Oh, it's just single equals. We could also export this. Um, let's find someone who did pretty well. A lot of 69s, man. Okay. Wait, why is that false? Oh. Very cool. Uh, okay. So this is E3 equals 5. Who got the correct answer for this one? Um, and then here we're just going to say sum. What? What? I can't sum. Um, hmm. Some true false Google Sheets. Count if with Boolean values. Oh. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Uh, we need some more columns. How do I insert column? Oh, this is taking forever. All right, um, what's the answer to the next one? Uh, the answer to the next one, uh, is what is the Python code return? Okay, uh, the answer to the next one is 6x plus 1. The answer to the next one was 10. Ugh, okay, I need to have better. I see, I wish we need, we need like admins to like, oh, you know what? I need some TAs, man. Who wants to be a TA? Well, we're going to figure out who the good people are very shortly, and everyone else is going to be banned from Twitch. Um, not banned, but, you know, just not permitted to speak. Uh, how many steps does it take for a tarring one to halt? I believe the answer was four. How many ones did it write to the tape? The answer is also four. Uh, for tarring two, might be an answer to Busy Beaver for what uh, number? The answer there was four. The answer here was three. Um, what are the other questions? All right. Well, this this person did well for the most part. Yo, I'm on stream. This is not a good time. <laughs> I gave him I gave him a test. What test? Oh, I gave the Twitchies a test. I wrote a ten question test. Wait, that's amazing. Wait, what kind of test? Wait, Testing for what? Do, do you need something or? No. Oh. I, just, I just saw that you looked at my LinkedIn, but you didn't connect with me, and I was laughing, and I just wanted to say hi. Oh, yeah, no, it was, it was a misclick. It was a mouse slip, you know? <laughs> um, wait, what? I just got a call from Cliffside Park, New Jersey. No, I'm grading their test. I gave the twitchy I gave the twitchies a ten question test because I'm sick of all the ignorance in my chat. And only people who pass with the sufficient amount can, yeah. can stay in the chat. Yeah, I think I might give a ten point bonus if you're a subscriber. What do you think? Should we pay I think Jason will. I think you should only be able to buy your way in. Why is Cliffside Park calling me? Ugh. Um, you can't totally buy your way in though. We gotta have standards. We're not like Harvard. All right, my FaceTime's broken. Hmm. 
The video will improve automatically when the connection improves. Hi. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my. It's all. It's glitchy. I'll talk. I'll talk in a bit after my stream. Bye bye. All right. Um. Sorry, I had to take a. I had to take a phone call. Uh. All right, wait, we got, we got, insert one right, uh, insert one right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one's three. Oh, wow, this had, this test had more questions than I thought. Um, the answer to this one is four, nine, eight. The answer to this one is eight. And the answer to this one is one. Cool. We have scores. Uh, now we just want to take this whole thing. We want to sort by that column. This is junk. Uh, sort sheet. Not Z to A. That's not right. Google sheet. Sort by column. Click data, sort, not by column M, sort range, sort by column P, Z to A. All right. Uh, all right. So passing grades are a seven and above. So literally 12 people passed. Um, shit, should we really make the passing grade a six? Maybe we'll even make it a six. That's, that's pretty pathetic and we're lowering our standards. You know what, if the six is okay if you're a subscriber. All right, well, we're gonna look at these people anyway. If you got a 50, you clearly failed. Uh, no, 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 this is too dark. Yeah, that's a good color. Um, if you got a 50 or below, you clearly failed. So you don't get any attention. You just get deleted. Cannot delete a row with form questions. Consider hiding it instead. Hide. Bye-bye. Um, we don't want this dividing line here because there shouldn't be divisions. Well, actually, this guy is the total champion. Who's the total champion? B1 Rennington is the total champion. Congratulations. You got a 10 and you did it in the fastest time. Uh, is B1 Rennington in the chat right now? B1 Rennington is our number one winner. We also got one other 10 from As Hero KSC. Congratulations. You guys are winners. Um, really coming in at absolutely the last minute there, but we love to have you. We love to have winners. Uh, we love to have people who get uh, tents. But these people are even better than subscribers because they have skills. Uh, so of the people who got things wrong, what did they get wrong? Ravens won. It was an odd one to get wrong and then get everything else right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, these are the people who will be allowed to speak in my Twitch channel. <laughs> Um, what do they win? Let's see. Oh, I don't, I, I, like, I'm not good enough with Twitch. Uh, but if someone's buying subs for people, the, the people who got, who really, these, these people here, the people who got at least a B on the test, uh, Will CM00, Abelt Fiera, um, actually these three, Will CM, Asheroth, and B1 Reddington, if some people could buy them uh, subs, they're, they're really good people, and I will, I will VIP them. Um, let's, let's, yeah. Uh, how do I do this? Friends. No, I don't know. 
I don't know how to use this stuff. Um, you will get VIP. I will, as soon as I figure out how to use Twitch. Uh, if you got, um, if you got, okay. So VIP for eight, 80% plus or 70% plus if you are sub. Perfect. Uh, oh, VIP Nick. Oh, great, 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 great. Yeah, good point. Um, P1 Reddington, congratulations, you're a VIP. Ash Hero Rock, VIP. It's still legal to discriminate against dumb people. Um, VIP Mayfield, VIP Will CM, VIP. VIP, uh, and then of the 70s, we have one subscriber on here. Should we really do that? Yeah, you know what, you're, well, let's make sure you actually are a subscriber. Um, nope, we didn't ask any questions about your race, gender, or your sexual orientation. This channel is a meritocracy who's very incredibly fair. Um, yeah, oh, well, let's check. If a Belfier is actually a subscriber, profile doesn't work. User. Sub for one month following since an hour ago. Yeah, we'll take it. Congrats, you're a VIP. Uh, already a VIP of this channel. Oh, you submitted twice. Even better. You make my decision even easier. You fix one of your wrong answers. Which wrong answer did you fix? Oh, you're Raven's one. All right, cool. Um, give you VIP? Where are you on this list? Uh, uh, no, you're not a subscriber and you got a 70. Um, VJassel, you're close and there will be plenty more opportunities. There will be plenty more opportunities uh, for you guys to do well on tests. Uh, wait, uh, Conag, I didn't VIP you? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed you. Already a VIP. You're good. Oh, you spelt your name wrong. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, chat, what do we think? What do we think? Wrong name? You were in a rush. All right, all right, fair point. You're a VIP. Congratulations. <laughs> no, come on, we're not banning. No, no, it wouldn't be a ban. Um, okay, guys. I thank you all for taking my test. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Who gets unVIP'd? Oh, I unVIP fake Conag urine. Good point. <laughs> it's not a spelling test, that's true. Cool. Uh, so you guys know who you should listen to. Everybody who has a VIP token next to their name is authoritative. And let me tell you something about being a VIP. You can't buy being a VIP. Uh, it, can, it can help you a little bit if you're already a subscriber when you take the test. You can't take the test and then be like, but now I'm gonna buy subscriber points because you're not doing it out of true love. You're doing it with the expectation of gain. Um, can I share a link to the test? Yeah, we can, we can reopen the test. Anyone who wants to take the test can take the test. Uh, because it's already been graded and it's over. Um, actually, let me just fork this. Uh, make a copy. Cool. Uh, will future tests require you to follow the contents of the stream? Yes. Okay. Uh, link the test. Can someone else link the test?
how to be VIP, you're a subscriber, and that doesn't get you VIP. You get VIP if you do well on the tests. Um, and there will be more tests. This will not be your only opportunity. It's not gonna be a, I, there isn't actually a real way to do uh, VIP only uh, streams, but we can do it. Um, oh yes, I'm putting work into the stream. Thank you, thank you. Um, you guys, I gave you all the answers to the test. Like, like I can't, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't like teach you. I can't tutor you. I don't know. I don't know if education even works. Um, how will you decide who gets on VIP'd? Well, we'll have like a VIP showdown test. I was actually thinking last night about making a, um, making some place where, yeah, the people who like do well on these tests in general can come hang out and make like an elite, uh, an elite form. Uh, you know, we'll like give people ranks on the forms. I was thinking of stealing them from like Starfleet, you know, crewman, ensign, lieutenant, commander, captain, admiral. Um, no, it's not, it's not Mensa. They're not really IQ tests. Uh, all jokes aside, you did a good job making the test. Thank you. Um, surely people who donate large amounts of money would also be admitted. What do you think we are, Harvard? What, you're going to put your name on a building and then we let you in? No, that's not how it works. We have standards. Um, <laughs> When is the next test? <laughs> I don't know when the next test is. I, can, I, I don't know, maybe I can make a test every stream. Well, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have some fun tests. Uh, all right. We're drinking matcha, gen matcha, unsweetened today. And we're gonna get to work coding and we're gonna see if we can fix the bugs from yesterday. Um, I'm not sure exactly what VIPs are going to get yet. We might, like, for example, I didn't write the thing yet to make, uh, there's no way on Twitch I can see to make a VIP only chat, but I might write a bot to do that tomorrow. Is VODs or subs only? Well, you better sub. Um, how about a sub icon instead of the default? Oh, I like that. That gem looks real nice. That pink gem. Oh, that's beautiful, man. That's so beautiful. Uh, yeah, regex bot from the list of, of, of approved users. And actually, if I can use... So I can have 100 VIPs on the, on the channel. Um, make sure, by the way, uh, a question that may be on um, another test is uh, do you follow me on Instagram? We're really trying to hit 30K followers because I heard a rumor that once you hit 30K followers, uh, you, get your, you get your blue check mark. Um, and I would love a blue check mark. Uh, so I have, I have, you know, I have 38,000 followers on Twitch. Uh, George is too thirsty for thoughts. Yo, man. All I'm saying is if you had big following on Instagram, you'd, 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 you'd do the same thing. You know, how could, how could you really fault me, man? You can get now if you pay. Yeah, but I'm not a whore. I don't buy cloud. I earn it. Mm. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't about being famous. This is about a girl seeing the blue check mark next to your name on Instagram and being like, this guy is the kind of guy who I want to hang out with. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't you want to play meaningless games of social power? <laughs> I have a girlfriend. How tall am I? Uh, yeah, I'm 5'10". Yeah, I'm 5'10". I don't buy clout, I earn it. Um, what did, what did, um... What did he say about, 
Asalaamu Alaikum, alaykum, you big hater, you nothing but a hater, hater, clout chaser. No, I don't have a girlfriend, boys. That's how I see it in MetaMath, this hypo guy. All right, we're going to minimize this and we're gonna get back to working on the thing. So I think they tell me what the right answer is. They at least say it on the website if they don't say it in the paper, I remember. Here we go. Okay. Um, so what two by two, says it gets 36 in tree normal form. I'm only getting 31. But this is, wait, this is tree normal form. This isn't with their analysis. Here, so this is what they get with their analysis. So they have five by two, they get 102 million. And they say that there's 36 and there's 25% in each one of the groups. Um, so we should figure out why they're getting a different number from me. Well, okay, so first off, this is off by one because there's one machine that we're currently working on uh, because we popped it off the, the stack. Uh, You didn't do the homework and still got 70%? Good for you, man. Look, we don't, you don't wanna, you don't have to do the homework if, if you just know things, you know? Also saying for two by three, they get this many. So yeah, we're, we're still we're missing machines somehow. Um, oh, let's go on my own private Wikipedia. Perfect. I love my private Wikipedia. My private Wikipedia is a place where there are no ads. There's no there's nobody to bother you. There's only love. My very own private Wikipedia. Um, we should be getting 38. We're getting 26 when we set m equal to. Uh, to three. That means we still have bugs somewhere. Okay. I think we're pretty confident we don't need this copy constructor. These are copied when we copy the tape. Uh, we don't need a copy constructor. I want to sign an operator for machine. Um, Did I really archive all of Wikipedia? Uh, talent over hard work. Uh, no, both are important, you know? I know plenty of people who work hard and they're not talented and like, that's sad, you know? Those people, you just, you can do nothing but feel bad for them. Uh, but I also know plenty of people who are talented who don't do anything. And like, I don't know, those people I don't feel bad for. It's like, do something, bro. We'll get the same answer with the ZDEX thing. So we're actually, we're below the number of machines we'd expect. For two by three, we expect 26, 2764. 
Um, and for two by two, which should be the simplest machines ever, we're only getting, uh, we're only getting, well, let's actually write in that sum. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? Like, I love that lyric, man. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? Yeah, you got some money, but you still fucking ugly, stupid. So hard, man. So hard. Okay. It seems like we're just perpetually missing a choice. Um, so, okay, we should expect nine, but we're only getting eight. I added one, so it's not that. Um, we're about to go to an undefined place. I iterate over all the directions. Uh, Add halting to the missing state. Well, see, do I need this? Uh, without that, I'm never going to add halting. All right, so this is after we've built out the entire tree and there's only one remaining transition. That's where we do the. Uh, Where's the one I'm missing? Missing state. New state is state halt. If it runs, run it. Otherwise, if it halts, add it to the ones that halted and update the busy beaver number. Um, so is your stream now like a class where if you miss two days in a row, you might as well drop the class? Well, yeah, but it's all, all the VODs are online, man. And, you know, according to Harvard, an online education is just as good as a real education in person. That's why we can charge the same money for it. Chatterino. Love ripping on Harvard, man. Love ripping on Harvard. You know, for all the shit we do to rip on Google, after yesterday, actually, there was a comment, uh, I think it was a comment on one of the streams about Hammer, where it's like, you know, what if Google's actually already returning the best result, right? What if Google's actually al already, it's not manipulating. It's actually just returning the result that makes most people the happiest. Um, if that's true, then the problem is not that Google sucks. The problem is just that I'm not most people. Uh, in which case, you know, maybe we should all rip on Google a little bit less. I mean, this website's really just designed to rip on Google. Like, I'm, I'm ripping on Google and giving a shout out to Papa John's, which is actually really disgusting pizza, but we used to get it PPP because they had Papa John's points. Um, yeah, but who should we really be ripping on? Harvard. Harvard is actually evil. <laughs> You know? Uh, no, I mean, I, I think I think a lot of the uh, I think a lot of the dysfunction in America today comes from the failure of the uh, the the universities. Um, it's it's downstream of, of the university failure. Okay, I'm enumerating every possible. And like, that does actually make a copy of the machine, right? I have confirmed this. Okay, that does the same thing. Okay, well, let's just think about it. So somehow I'm only ending up with this should give me eight machines. Ooh. 
but how does it get nine then? Right? Because okay. It's two by two. It puts seven machines on the queue, which is right, because we're running one currently. Um one of them halts. But how are we getting nine? So you see why there should be nine, right? Because the total is 36. Um, how are the American universities failing? Because of this. Right? Are they really providing a better product than they were providing in 1998? No, then why does it cost 2x more? I think, I think, I think by a lot of studies now it's even more than 2x. Um, this is one of the ways they're failing. Uh, it's actually arguable that there, there, there's this big blow at university administration. And I don't want to go into this. There's plenty of people who are much more educated on this topic than I am um, who can speak with you about that. Uh, I know about busy beavers. So I don't get it. Huh. Okay, so we run the first one here. We write a zero to the tape. So that's the job of the first transition. We write another zero to the, wait, we should write a one to the tape, shouldn't we? Oh, well. Just right. Uh, out direction new state. Okay. Um, output is one. The direction is one. The new state is one. Okay. For the first one here, we're playing. It's going left, and it's writing a zero. So output one, direction minus one, new state here. Okay. Now we pop it off the stack, and we get one where our new state is minus two, which is the undefined state. Um, and now it adds seven things, well, eight things to the queue, which is right. After adding which transition? Well, after adding, so there's already, it's a two by two machine. So there's four possible transitions, right? I guess. Huh, you know what I might have done wrong? I might have to put that step after we do the run. I feel like we're not getting like some, some loopy machine. Execute. M is known to be irrelevant or the bound of the number of execution steps is is executed. Output M and halt. I mean, I guess we could draw out all the machines. I don't understand why they're getting one. How many total possible machines are there? So if we want total possible machines for two by two, 
Uh, we have two potential new states for them to, well, three potential states, because there's a halting state. We have that, we have that, and that's um, 12. So there's, is that right? Oh, no. Um, that's each state can have that many. And then we have four transitions. So it's 48. More interestingly, how do we not get the right answer for that? Wait, now we got a different answer. Oh no, 14. 26. Generate. Initialize machine M to this tuple. Choose the B0 transition satisfying one of the conditions below. So we agree that there's four of them. All right, should we, should we write this more like the way they intend? We'll write it more like the way they intend. Um, execute M on the blank input until uh, M is known to be irrelevant. I don't know what that means. Or the bound on the number of execution steps. I guess that's already that's actually already kind of what I'm doing. Um, if it's undefined, if it's m stateful and m symbolful. I guess we can do this. This won't hurt if we added in a new one. Doesn't change a thing. Uh, so if either of those things trigger, What are people talking about? God, military spending in the US, God. Trash, trash. Mods only. Um, I wanna confirm that VIPs can talk when we do subscriber only chat. Uh, definition seven in the paper, look from a VIP. It talks about irrelevant, okay. Um, definition seven in the paper, we can say that the Turing machine is irrelevant to the busy beaver function uh, if at least one of the problems is satisfied. So actually, if it's irrelevant, why do we even output the machine? Now in a position to define the process for generating machines with n symbols. So we'll follow the same basic process. We refer to the states and to the symbols defined as denote state choice. We denote symbol choice. Huh. 
Huh. Question. Is the halting state a possible state? Is that one that I'm forgetting about here? Should we do this? We do have 12 machines now. If you include the halting state in the possible set of uh, allowed ones. I can't wait till chat is VIP only. The problem is we only have like five people. We'll be kind of boring right now. Uh, for the university, I'd like to start with comp sci physics and discrete math. There's plenty of overlap in those three. Note that we halt the process whenever a halting transition is added to M. Oh, well, that's interesting. So uh, another thing to say here is that this is just this. Wow, it actually finishes now. Okay, well that's cool. I'm gonna print the machines. We should be able to do that, right? Now that it finishes them. Uh, for H colon halting, does that work? Um, we wanna print the machine. I say h print. And we'll add a print function. Uh, for uh, so we have a transition. What are the three things about the transition? There's an output, a direction, and a new state. Okay. Um, output. Actually, the direction. No, it's not. Um, direction. New state. Uh, It's not question time yet. We'll have question time. It's coding time now. Uh, new state. We want to say, oh, this is supposed to be dot direction dot new state on um, here. You know what? Do I want to add just a print function to divert to, to, I could add a print function to. Machine is not a pointer, huh? Oh. See, this is what I mean. You know, if you're coding Go, a language for dumb people, then you don't make mistakes like that. Um, but you see, you know, I say this like dumb people, like everyone's dumb, man. You know, you know, it's real dumb though. The kind of person who's like, I only code in like Haskell because, you know, Haskell is only the programming language for the elite people like me. No, the truth about tools, man, is you choose whatever tool you can work quickly in and runs fast and shit, you know? It's all about trade-offs, but if you believe that choosing a tool makes you a philosophically better person, you're actually an idiot. Okay, um, 
So, this is a good point. There's eight machines here. Where is the other one? There can't be another one, I guess. I guess, how did it get nine? How does it get nine here? Those are all the machines. It fills in those states, right? And it makes sense why there's eight. Because there's two possible states, two possible directions, and two possible outputs. Two to the third is eight. Uh, for the halting state, we only have that. Where is this supposed ninth state, ninth, ninth machine coming from? So these are all the Boola machines, right? This is B0, this is A0, A1, B0, B1, right? This is how we're iterating through them. Um, we had one RH, because that's always right. Can we, maybe we can find it on the guy's website? I remember this website like wasn't online anymore, but we found it in the archive. I mean, it'd be nice if I could download the list and see what I'm missing. Right? I, I don't understand where these other ones are coming from. There's, there's one machine missing. And like, reading the procedure... also try to get the uh, Pascal code to run. Maybe the redirect is fine. Eighteen twenty two. these machines back in. Thirty two machines, not thirty six.
Could halting state be special? Well, we tried adding in the halting state. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's this part that I didn't write here. If it's full, we add in the halting state. That only give me four machines. Even worse. Nice because okay, it puts the holding state. The holding state can be here. The holding state can be here. Um, it can't be according to their generation rules. Thirty-six. We can try. So they say for three by two, we should get thirty-five oh eight. Oh, we got more than that for 32. Probably because I removed the zero dexterous check. Okay, now they have, now we're, we're overestimating. Do we think this is a good approach to try to figure out why that's not 36 and they're claiming 36? I mean, they are even more specific about which this second state, pet, state has to be. So this is 0LA, which is this top one here. So 25% of 36 is 9. So it should, only, it should give me 9 machines, but it only gives me 8. What machine am I missing? The only machine I can think of that I'm missing is the one that has halt over here. Right? Um, but that doesn't make a ton of sense because, okay, one RB, which means write a one, which means write a one to the tape, right? So we can imagine the tape. Here's the, here's the, uh, we write a one to the tape. We move the head to the right and we transition to state B. We write a zero to the tape. Uh, we move left and we transition to state A, right? So that's because it's zero LA. Now we are in state uh, we're reading the tape and there's a one and we're in state A. So now we have a transition to choose. We could potentially halt right now, which is the only thing that's missing and that might be the ninth machine. But I don't see how that ninth machine comes around from this generation procedure, unless we have this. If n is n state full and m symbol full, which you can argue that it is because it has a one here and a zero here. State choice. Um, okay, I mean, here's an interesting note as well. I think I was being too liberal with my state choice. We denote state choice and it is only the states that are currently in the machine. The set we add an extra state if k is greater than n. Okay, so this is this is actually a more restrictive thing. They do this in tree normal form, uh, tree normal form as well. Um, but this is not even going to matter for what we're talking about here. Right, as long as we're still we're still missing a machine, but I don't really see where we could be missing a machine. Symbol choice, yes, we can add one new symbol if there's a new symbol. Um, note that the procedure generate m n below is non-deterministic. Oh, we should have really read this before because then I wouldn't have complained so much about like, oh, what is it doing, what is it doing? Um,
You're still studying Turing machines? Good, study Turing machines. A good thing to learn. Um, okay, steps one and two are derived directly from proposition uh, 26. I don't think we could be doing them wrong. Um, step three is with machines executed until either the machine is known to be irrelevant. Clearly, we need to store the machine's computation length. It consists of those machines that are known to be irrelevant. The only exception to the rule is that we choose. Yeah, the zero dexis thing doesn't really matter. Um, this means that a halting transition, step four. This means that a halting transition is only considered if the partial machine generated already contains n states and m symbols. Otherwise, proposition 27 and conjecture 28 consider a machine output m and halt. Okay, I think I think I see what's going on here. I think the missing one is this, and I think that using an else here was incorrect. Hello? Hello everyone here? Yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm just checking. You have small detectors alarm? Yeah, I think it's fine. You sure? Yeah. Alright, sorry about that. No, no worries. So I'm not early, I didn't get no response, so. Oh, I was probably out. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry about that, man. No worries. Thanks. Okay, enjoy. I'll lock, I'll, I'll lock it back up. Yep. Where's the soup where the building is? It's New York, you know? Um, what's he gonna steal, man? Was it the SWAT team? Uh, not everyone's out to get you, boys, you know? You always gotta remember that. Some people are. Fuck. So we add in this state if it's full. And actually, is full has a simpler, uh, has a simple, simple definition, actually. This is, this is actually not the right uh, definition. It doesn't even mean that you've technically executed them. It just means that you've written to one Me, I believe in pronoia, man. You know, you guys ever heard of pronoia? Uh, let me do this a little bit differently. Pronoia is when you believe that the world is conspiring to help you out. Yeah. Uh, if tf sub n. So that gives me num states. Um, 
um, num symbols is a similarish idea, except we want to invert the loops. You know what? This isn't right. Let's just write the simpler one. Um, I mean, I could just track this as I go, right? I could track this whenever I end up setting one. All right, I mean, if chat's gonna be junk anyway, then I guess it can be open to everybody. What does Gary D. Smith have to say? George, can you please unban me? No, I don't know what you did, but you're still banned. Once banned, always banned. Keep that in mind. Yeah, so then the last one is the halting transition. So let's just add in the halting transition here. Uh, and actually when we do add the halting transition, we'll just say halting equals push back. Um, yeah. Potentially add the halting state. states. Symbols. No, oh, is full as junk. Num symbols and num states is kind of junk too. reason I'm still only getting eight machines. Um, oh, this isn't right. Really, I want to hook Set tf int n int m uh, t. No, we'll say output direction new state. All right, those ones are junk. We'll have to just write this. It's fine. Probably going to make the code smaller anyway. Uh, here we can say mm add tf and that 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 right cool uh, we're gonna have to change these ones up too Refactoring, boys, refactoring. Don't do it wrong. So easy to do wrong. So hard to do right. Don't refactor wrong, boys. Don't keep an eye out if I refactor wrong.
Am I refactoring wrong? Or am I refactoring right? Um, Output direction, new state. Good. Thirty-two machines. Well, that's something. But actually, the way that I was computing symbols was wrong. Um, what we these are junk. Greater than num states, num states equals it. I find is full. I'm getting zero there. For some reason, it thinks it's only a uh, one symbol machine, which to be fair, I'm doing the one without the, if I do this, it's gonna give me nine? No, doesn't make sense. I added in a transition, which clearly has another symbol in it. Oh, but no, that's not right. Um, we can also say if, uh, New state. Um, hmm. Wait a second. Oh. All right, cool. So you can see this machine here is undefined. Um, we should check for that explicitly in our print. Uh, if this is a state undefined print 1234. Maybe we should 
should actually print underscores. Cool. All right, now we have nine machines. Now let's just confirm that we still have nine machines. Uh, if we do this one, nine machines, all right, cool. So that was the bug, I think. Uh, my is full is very fast. That kind of shifts very fast. All right. Cool. Let's add them all in, make sure we get 36. 36 machines. All right, we're rich. This should also give us the right answer for 3 comma 2, but it may not give us the answer for 4 comma 2 because we have to, the way I define state choice is slightly wrong. Got 4038. Now we should check the zero dextrous. just so we get the same answer as them. Um, if mm is zdex push. Uh, no, sorry, not. Two, four. Okay, still not the right answer. Getting the right answer now for two by two though. Good time to commit and push. Cool, you're VIP, you're the best kind of person. Let's define new state correctly. So these loops actually shouldn't go to M and N, they should go to min of mm dot new states plus one comma n and min of mm dot no, sorry, it's not a num mm uh, num symbols plus one comma m. Well, of course it's not just min, it's standard min. And remind the people which min we're using. All right, fine, fine. Jump code. Sick of typing that crap. Okay. Now we're getting this many machines, we're getting this many machines total for three by two. They tell me I should expect that many machines. Where are these extra ones coming from?
You can filter out some more based on blank tape condition. Def 7. So did I talk about this in the generate? Okay, yeah, so... What they're saying is, yeah, don't push a set of machines. Um, yeah, we, we have to look at the definition of irrelevant, and we have to make sure that if the, the machine is irrelevant, we do not push it. I think that determines it. Fucking birds, man. Execute M. M is known to be irrelevant. Definition seven talk about irrelevant or does it talk about the blank tape condition? Um, irrelevant to the busy behavior problem if at least one of these conditions is satisfied. Okay. Um, so if the activity is less than N, we don't bother pushing it. Uh, is that true in both places we add the halting state in the generate function? I need bookmarks. Um, Blank tape condition is part of machine being relevant. Okay, cool. Uh, Mayfield div number one. How'd you do on the test? Where's my test? Where'd my test go? perfect score uh, off by one for the Python you probably did it on Windows where echo didn't work <laughs> I told you with Windows yeah 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 Says if it's full, we don't do the check. Um, keep M on the blank and input until M is known to be irrelevant. Well, okay, so we, we, one of the conditions we can use for irrelevant is if mm dot steps is less than n. That's definitely uh, in the uh, or greater. We have to show greater than n. greater than n. Okay, well, that didn't change anything there. The blank tape condition. If during the computation of m on the input, the only configuration in which the tape is blank is the initial configuration, okay. Um, do I have a fast way to do that? I don't think I do. Why is that true? Well, I guess it's, yeah, as soon as it's blank, it's over. Fine. Um, pool is blank. Uh, 
for f in forward uh, if f equals one return false uh, for b in backward if well let's just say s in both return um, I guess if it's irrelevant we can discard it right away if ms dot t dot is blank. Well, I can do it the other way around. ms.steps greater than zero and ms.t is blank. Uh, continue. Now blank tape. Range based for loop requires typed for loop variable. We could keep track of it too. Uh, the problem is I'd have to intercept the uh, not ms mm uh, blank. Okay, all right, we're getting closer. What number am I supposed to get for this? Um. Oh, now we're too low again. After doing the blank tape condition, we're too low. We really should be using a non-deterministic programming language. I feel like I wouldn't have to think through all these stupid cases. Uh, should the number be? Should write it down. This blank should check for zeros instead of ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, no shit. <laughs> You're right. Nice bug. Um, Way too few on these multi symbol guys. No, it's not Pretty sure my ZDEX check is correct. So we know that we're expected to get 6.5% out of Bula. It's 228 machines from the first transition. And we get 220. Discarding the blank tape ones. 
No, I mean, that should be an okay... I don't know. I mean, at some point, it may just be idiosyncrasies of their algorithm that get you an exact number. Like, that's probably not wrong, but... It's probably not wrong, but uh... and does he talk about what cutoff he uses? Finite activity. Finite activity. Activity sub M is greater than N. So that's activity here. Um, just got rid of two more. Productivity of M is greater than zero. Harder to measure. It's like some C plus plus eleven crap. I don't know. I kind of think this code probably isn't too wrong. Well, it's really wrong once you get into multi-symbols, so maybe we can figure out why that's true. Um, but yeah. Thirty-three ninety-eight, and we expect thirty-five oh eight. So maybe we can find the multi-symbol bug because this one we're off by a factor of two, and that probably isn't. Uh, small bug. Okay, this one's probably probably more serious bug. Um Let's make this a little faster.
Wait, did that just change the number? Those two things should have been equivalent. Oh, I mean, I think we do have to set card to zero. Okay, never mind, they're equivalent. That one's way off. There has to be something we're missing. These belong here. They do not belong here. I don't know why I put them there. It does the same thing though. Yeah, again, this stuff doesn't matter, but it will start to matter once we get to like four comma two. What is it for four comma two? Yeah, I overshoot four comma two. And I undershoot two comma three by a lot. Like half as many as I should, and I don't know why. And the halting transition and then push the machine. Go to step three. Two comma three is, I, I can't get a smaller machine than that. I could just focus on one of the little things. Getting 158. Um, okay. Did we forget some obvious transitions? So we have one LA here. Uh, why is there no zeros in here? So we have one RB, move over there, zero LA, back there. Now we're in this state. Why does it always insist on printing a two or a one? Why are there no states where that prints a zero? I guess there's no states where that prints a zero because as soon as you print a zero there, you end up with uh, the zero state case. How are we back to only eight machines for that one? Oh, I guess because of this check. 
which it doesn't actually say to put here. Fine. If we put a zero there, the problem is it's gonna overwrite the only one on the tape with a zero. So that would satisfy the blank tape The minute we are in the blank tape condition, is that true? Or is my blank tape condition too, uh, too strict? M is known to be irrelevant. Oh. M is known to be irrelevant, we output it? BB.M thing doesn't work anyway. Now we got 167, which I think is still too low. And M is known to be irrelevant at that point. So we output it. We're still off by a whole bunch. 3058 times 6.5 over 100. So we expect two point, uh, 228 machines for the first. We were actually only ending up with, well, I mean, it doesn't even like, like once it's known to be irrelevant, we output it. That's kind of stupid. Um, I don't think that's right because that machine doesn't even have a halt step. No. So these transitions, it has the one transition or the true transition. Um, there is no state three. There's only a state, uh, there's only two states, but there's three symbols. The author's source code is in prologue. Do you want to read prologue? We could do that. Um, okay. Tula. There's all these ones being outputted without a halting state. I guess, I mean, I guess those are the others that are just, they ran for too long. Hmm, which is, uh, which is interesting. doesn't have a halt either. So, I mean, see the problem, right? So these machines are being outputted. Um, they've run for, actually, that's another thing we can output when we print the machine. That's the number of steps. So these ones all ran for 101. Um, the problem is they don't have halting states. 
So like, the question is, do we have to fill this in with every possible thing? Maybe they output only once they know it's irrelevant, so you could appear, compare subsequently generated machines to the known irrelevant ones. I don't know about that. Um, like, this is an incomplete machine. Step three tells us the machine is executed until the given machine is known to be irrelevant, exceeds a given bound on computation length, or finds a place in the machine where new transition is needed. Clearly, we need to store machines whose computation exceeds the given bound, but strictly speaking, we can insist that these machines that are known to be irrelevant are not stored at all. The only exception to this rule is we choose to not store zero dexterous machines. I still feel like I must be doing something really wrong because I'm, I'm off by a lot. I'm looking at 167 machines, I'm expecting 228. From the paper, we've chosen to retain such machines to, to, to simplify the generation process. Yeah, so I'm retaining the machines now too. This is this is um, irrelevant. Uh, bound on number of exact steps exceeded. We check for z dextrous in both of those places where we add in either a halting or a new machine. Um, and then this is step five. If there is only one state remaining, um, add in the halting uh, state, output the machine, and then continue. Now we're here, we're actually still in step three. Um, run the machine for a step, and then add it back to the queue if it didn't halt. Uh, if the machine does halt, confirm that it ran for more than, we don't even, we can remove that. It doesn't matter. One sixty seven. Shouldn't really call this halting, it's kind of wrong. Just say out. It's more likely at this point a flaw in my logic or a bug in the code. What's the difference? All right. You got you got syntax bugs, you got logic bugs. They're all bugs. I mean it's possible that they then fill in possible machine generated so far may not terminate. Terminating machine in which the blank tape state occurs in a state other than A or Z. 
Oh. A machine for which this occurs in state A other than the initial configuration. Hence, if we find that the machine is blank at any point, we should seek execution only and note the machine generated as irrelevant. We're still outputting it, but that means there will be some machines generated whose status is known immediately. These include any non-terminating machines detected in step three, as well as machines generated by the first bullet point in step four, which are known to terminate. Definitely, yeah. This is known to terminate because the transition is to that termination step, um, which are zero halting. So there will be some machines that are already classified as they are generated, including some which are zero halted, while many of the other machines will be unclassified. This somewhat messy arrangement seems to be an unavoidable consequence of using the TNF technique. In principle, we could add halting transitions to the zero halting machines so that the set of machines would appear more uniform. As noted above, some zero halting machines are generated due to the execution bound uh, being exceeded. So these guys. Um, it's possible that later analysis will show that these machines do not terminate. However, if that subsequent analysis cannot do that, then we need to consider the possibility that these machines may need to be defined in more detail. As these machines, as it may be that these machines can be extended to machines which will terminate on the blank input. For example, consider the Fosch Day 2 symbol, the machine exceeded the bounds. After five steps of configuration, so we may need to reconsider such zero halting machines. Um. getting to the point where, well, no. Um, it's possible we're getting to the point where uh, I don't know. I kind of missed that, that, that the busy beaver thing because it was a good test. Else. Um, BB sub n equals um, max of BB sub n comma mm dot steps. Put it back. Uh, it was a good test, right? If we're not getting the correct busy beaver number, like we're not getting, so this should give me six. If it doesn't give me six, then we're doing something wrong. It's possible that we're just not going to get exactly what the paper says um, for who knows what reason. It doesn't necessarily mean that what we are doing is wrong. Like it just, it could be a quirk of the algorithm. It could be implemented wrong anywhere. We should just make sure that what we're doing is correct. Um, this is largely good enough for, for going on to the next step, hopefully. Um, okay, so let's, for example, I think this zero dexterous thing is, is stupid. Um, This one here, we don't actually have to push it back. We can actually let it halt because it just halts on the next. It halts the next time it runs. Um, just let it 
run. Uh, got. Okay. Um, add halting to the missing state. Um, this is unknown. If it halts. Okay, so we got busy beaver number six, looking at two by two, which is correct. Um, looking at 26 machines and letting them run for 100. Uh, so for these ones, let's just let them run for 40, because all the numbers we should be playing with are only going to be uh, below 40. Let's go three by two here. Um, well, let's not print the machines. Okay, we get a busy beam number 21, and we're looking at 3,092 machines. Um, here, busy beaver number 26. So this is wrong. We should not have gotten 26 here. We should have gotten 38. So there's some bug still. Like this is an actual bug. This is, we can't just say that my code's giving something different from theirs for some reason. Because uh, they have one that runs for 36 steps, 38 steps. And for some reason, we're not finding that machine. Um, we're only getting 26. Okay. Um, Mayfield pointed out before that I made a stupid mistake here where I checked for these things uh, not being, uh, I, I did something special with the state one. Did I do anything else where I'm stupid with the state one treated as a special thing? Direction is fine. We don't even use a ZDEX anymore. It's a stupid function. This guy really liked that ZDEX. Uh, Make sure my initial configuration is correct. If n equals three, b zero. That's right. Why can't it go right? I guess if it goes right on zero, there's no point, right? If it goes right on zero, then it's just gonna continue to go right on zero forever. Yeah. State choice. Note by state choice, the set of k is less than n and all the states otherwise, which is what I'm doing there. Um, we output a, is a one in this state, but that doesn't matter. We can always do ones for the halts. Go to step three. What did I do wrong? Why am I not getting the machine? I'm adding in all the possibilities. Those are the ones that give me 26. Is the second law of thermodynamics true? No, they made it up, man. It's the man trying to oppress you.
It's true unless you donate a building and then they waive it. You know, the patent office used to have a policy where if you wanted to patent a perpetual motion machine, you had to build one and run it in the patent office for a year. Um, they've since gotten rid of this policy, and there's like, you know, 30 patents out there for perpetual motion machines. Where, okay. Let's look at two state, three symbol, busy beaver and figure out why it's not in here. Here. Okay. So, we're looking for one that's one RB, right? See, one RB, one left C. Oh, wait, no, there's no state C. Sorry, that's three state, two symbol. I want the other way around two state, three symbol. Turing machine for three state, busy beaver. Three state, two symbol, busy beaver champion. No, I want the two state, three symbol champion. Who can find that? There's a two state, three symbol, universal Turing machine. They swear to me that it is 38. Oh, you found the machine? Yeah, okay. 1RB, 2LB, let's just write that out. 1RB, um, 2LB, 1RH, 2LA, 2RB, 1LB. Well. Let's just figure out if we have that one. 1RB, 2LB. Okay, we definitely have 1RB, 2LBs. 1RH, so that's what the halting step is. Definitely have that. 2LA, now we've lost it. We don't have any with 2LA. Why not? Why couldn't it add 2LA there? We have one LA. Okay, the closest thing we get is that one, but it only added one LA. It didn't add two LA. Um, oh, well, okay. I mean, that's one of the initial, that's like one of the initial things, right? The reason there's only one LA there is because that's an initial thing. Can we relabel two of the states somehow? Well, I guess we can always relabel one and two. We can't relabel it to zero. But yeah, that's just not there. Symbol choice zero one. What if that's wrong? The reason why we don't have any 2LA there is because, well, let's give it 2LA and let's see, do we do better?
Now it gives 38. It is pretty clear about only requiring 0 and 1 here, right? Is that wrong? Oh, man. Oh, we denote by symbol choice this, including L plus one. Oh, what, what a, what a, what a, shit. Bullshit, man. Notation, bullshit. Do they also denote that about state choice? No, they're very clear in state choice. In state choice, they don't do this, but fine. Fine, fine, fine. Min num symbols plus one. Mn plus one symbols that. You know, you know, some people, man, some people. There you go. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so that bug only affected... Does that get us closer to the number? All right, it gets us closer to the number. Good, I'm happy with it now. Fix BB2X3. At least it gets us the correct busy beaver number. Uh, even if it's not looking at all the machines. You like this collection of machines better? Which collection? All right, let's try it for four by two and see if we get the right answer. Well, this one can take a long time. We should throw more out. We can we can start throwing them out now. Um, if it fails blank tape, we throw it out. If it that happens, we continue. Um, this is unknown if it halts, but it's complete, so we can push that one there. Uh, this is known to terminate. This will. Terminate next step. Let's just say this step. Um, kind of dumb they were adding the irrelevant machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think so too. Um, now, if the bound on the number of exact steps is exceeded, that's not an irrelevant machine. We're going to have to add that. Um, and then we don't care, so let's see how long this takes to run. This is now for, uh, how much time is being spent doing the print? This is for four comma two. Cool. For four by two, we're getting this many machines. Uh, they got away with less, probably using zero dexterous crap. Well, but let's really ask the question how many of these um, halt. You know, there's no reason to push it, actually. If mm steps, what is 4 by 2? So the busy beaver four is like 107 or something? Yeah. Uh, if mm steps is greater than or equal to 107, then we push it. Otherwise we don't. 
known upper bound. Why is it pushing all those machines? Um, oh, because these are complete machines where the unknown of it halts. Halted. We're going to get some that halt pretty soon, I think, right? Maybe not. No, we're not. Okay. Uh, cool. Did that change this at all? Any good... Any good other tricks, like blank tape? Um, C++ vector any? I wonder if that's faster. I don't remember what the old one was, so great. Useless. Uh, 40. All right, let's have it actually write out all the machines instead of printing them. So we have 63, uh, 637,000 machines. Uh, I'm not sure to print them all. Yeah, so here are all the machines. See how long this takes to run for five? So technically we have to run it more than the Busy Beaver steps. Because um, if we don't, we may end up with incomplete specified machines, which I guess is okay. We can prove if that subset halts or not. So what is that, we're up to five million? We expect to get about a hundred million? It's not too bad, actually. Could always turn the zero dextrous check back on. Yeah, we sure about that check? You like that check? Another thing that I'd rather do with that check is like, I don't like that check. Can, can I put the check, I mean, I like checks that I can put here, right? I like checks that I can put like right at the top. Yeah, the code's on GitHub, Twitchcock.
the demon duck of doom You know what occurs to me? We don't have to do this all together. We can like, we can separate this out. Who wants to write it multi-threaded, you know? And I think we can just do like one of these. Or I can say something like, uh, it's priority. I can like separate the cues at any point, right? Can totally write this. Should we, should we write this with lots of threads? Multi threaded? Well, yeah, I mean, you can spawn that many threads. Uh, no, no, but I mean, my point is if priority queue is thread safe, I don't know if priority queue and vector are actually thread safe. But. I don't think it's thread safe. I mean, I could always put a mutex around it. Yeah, it's easy to write the for loop multi-threaded, right? So to be fair, I somewhat wonder Bye bye VVN again. It's a decent test, but it's not going to play nice with my threads. Oh, that's a good point too. Don't try O3. So fast. Fast as it for four. Well, that removing that print statement's gonna do a lot too. I can actually use this for anything other than um we do.
Okay, 1.5 seconds, respectable, but we can go even faster. Uh, is this thread safe? Have realistic multiple readers are safe. Multiple threads may simultaneously read the contents of a single container, and this will work correctly. Naturally, there must not be any writers. Ugh, I need a reader writer lock. Oh. have like a wrapper for these wrappers thread C++ mutex mm. oh yeah standard lock guard yeah I want a lock guard lock guard is that what I want lock Oh, well, that's going to make me write code. I don't want to write code. Yeah, I could use a mutex, but I don't like write the damn mutex. You know, you want to write a damn mutex? Not me. I know I don't. Um, if ms.size equals zero, break. adding code. I'm upset about that. I'm very upset about this. No, 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 I refuse. Add out. How many machines does each starting machine generate? Yeah, I, I could. I could. It doesn't really matter though. Th this this is like a just it's a cleaner way to write it. And when I do it should work fine. Uh, no matching call to function add out. Uh, should we able to start generate threads? Um. 
like a pool. Of course not. No matching constructor for thread. Constructs a new thread object. Um, spawn a new thread. That calls foo. I don't get it. Okay, call generate. It should work. No matching constructor. No overload of generate. Matching thread. Mm, void generate. The same as foo. Mm, looks right to me. Is it not like new? Use lambdas? No matching constructor. What? Cannot infer type function pointer. All right, I mean, let's just try this. Maybe this will work. Can I say like thread t generate? T.join? It's not work. I feel like it's the exact same thing that's written there. threads this should work no matching constructor place back I'm not even doing that. I'm just I'm just literally doing <sighs> no overload of generate matching thread no overload matching could not infer kind of construction not viable what Oh, compile with pthread? No. Baz operator on object B. Thread object, thread function. That's exactly what I'm doing. I mean, it's just a void, void generate. You want that? No. Don't do it here. Does this program work? That 
works fine. Does it work in the standard 17? Works fine. Generate something special? I, I don't even, don't call it generate. Call it thread function. I call it generate function. Cool. Sixteen thread, not faster. Or I did something wrong. Good. Mm, two thread never finish. Or it's just thrashing constantly. That's why you don't using STD. Yeah, good point. Got a small M and M. Good point. No, I think the multi-threaded version is broken. If you actually use two threads, it breaks. Use one thread. Good. Use two threads. Breaks. Sometimes it's a good exercise to multi-thread your programs because you learn things about how. Um, it works. So that's all done. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay, done. I think it's slower. Threads made it slower. Threads are a scam. Proof is in, threads are a scam. Threads made it slower. Use lock guards. Yeah. I could refactor that with lock guards, but I know I know you can do lock guards here. I was probably thrashing the uh Meh. I don't care enough. That's fine. Um, still a nice refactor. Like add Q and add out. And that. Two 
too much contention with the lock. Yeah, I agree. No, we need like a more proper like lock-free data structure. Ugh, I regret using using namespace std. I can say something like using standard vector, right? Yeah. I'm upset that I can't couldn't call my thing generate because there probably is something in the standard library called generate. Well, so here's something else we can do. I know it's going to make it faster. I know it's going to actually make it considerably faster. We'll do that refactor, and I think we're done for today. We'll do it next. We don't have to constantly put the machines back and forth on the priority queue. We can actually run them uh, for quite a bit longer. So let's say, uh, let's create a quick will go undefined function. Um, and then my will go undefined function. Actually, change the order here slightly. Um, so we can say uh, mm.run uh, will halted uh, if not. And that makes me want to return true for halt again. Uh, add out. Um, so if not, we'll go undefined. These stupid continues actually. Oh, well, that's step five. Hang on. Let's just say while one. Uh, hold it at out. Break out of this. Um, if mm will go undefined, also break. I'm going to just do it more like how they talked about it in the paper. Oh, by the way. Just 
just make sure you don't break anything. We'll write it more like the paper. Okay, step three. Execute. Execute M on the blank input until. Um, it halts. We output it. Failed blank tape task. Do not store or run. Um, if MM will go undefined, then put that in here. any of that. Really want to put that, print that there. For some reason it gets way more machines. Doesn't make sense. Um, if it halted, we add it to output and we exit the loopy. Uh, if it failed the blank tape test, we just exit. Uh, if the bounds on the number of execution steps is exceeded, we add it to the outputs. Um, if it will go undefined, we add that one to the queue, which will halt on the next run. Uh, we add in all these possible states, and then here uh, we break as well. I don't understand why that's more machines. Let's start back with two comma two, where we can print the machines. and then we'll return. Should you give nine? It only gives five? That gives 20? I don't know, what broke? I don't know. I don't know why that broke. Maybe we should think about why the other ones didn't show up in here. Uh, we can have back in that printout too. Uh, Output it for some reason. Maybe because they failed the blank tape test? Oh, I guess these can go above run. That's better. Back to 36 for here. 
58. Add it to the output. Uh, we'll go on to find add possible branches. Nine steps will halt with the tenth. This is unknown if it halts, but it is complete, so we just exit. That doesn't run anymore. Is the priority queue deduping them somehow? I mean, is there anything that dedupes them actually? What's a guy in Canada? Thank you for subscribing. Back to the other way. I don't know. I don't understand why these aren't equivalent. get nine again. Or, okay, you know what? Let's really just simplify this. Add out break. Make these into breaks. Oh, those did not work as those should not have been breaks, but I guess they don't get hit. That's the same, but the putting step three inside a, a inner loop. If I comment this out, I expect 36. 36, okay, cool. Now how much faster is this for four? Before we're getting like 1.5 seconds. This should be faster, and this should also thread nicely. Yeah, twice as fast. Yeah, buddy. How about with that many threads? Slower. <laughs> Considerably slower. There's still a lot of lock contention? That's weird. Even with the new style, 
way more depth first, even breadth first. -y. Yeah, I like. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to run this over like an hour on whatever we get for, uh, mm, let me just write some quick. Yeah, we'll try to execute it for our five comma two. But I'd like it to print some stuff occasionally. Ten million. Oh, this is so fast. Oh, we don't even need the threads. No threads required. Why did it freeze? Okay, we expect this to get to about a hundred million. Well, you know, you never know if a program is going to halt or not. Am I right? Occasionally, there's no way it can really be stuck. This priority queue is getting massive. The priority queue now has 67 million things in it. Is this because I ran out of RAMs? Am I out of RAMs? Oh no, I'm using swap, boys. Oh, we're using swap. Oh, no wonder. Oh, my poor flashy. Oh, we gotta go swap. Mm. All right, we can run this on a computer. <laughs> my work computer has uh, many gigabytes of RAM. We can use we can use the many gigabytes. Uh, Trump 42000, stop with political bullshit spam. We have zero tolerance for politics around here. 
if it swaps again, these numbers aren't getting smaller. These numbers are getting bigger, which is upsetting. I think it's swapping. All right, you guys want to run it somewhere fast? It'd be a tragedy if we can't use threads on this computer. This computer is so powerful. Uh, you guys want to see the power of this computer? Yo, that's some power, man. That's some power. Look at how many gigabytes that is. That's right. We're not going to run out of gigabytes now. Oh, a cert wasn't declared in the scope. God. Yes, sir. I'm gonna download a RAM. Download some RAM, boys. All right, now we're flying. Ironically, this computer probably has worse single-threaded performance than my MacBook. I don't know if these, I'm sure these hiccups aren't due to swap. They may be due to, oh yeah, 28 million. Yeah, 29 million, 33 million, 34 million. I think it's only gonna be 100 million. Huh? So sad. Only one thing, one core. All my cores. Let's go, don't worry. Gotta run the GC. <laughs> it's funny because C++ doesn't have a GC. Oh yeah, we love RAM. Mm. I don't know why it freezes up at all. 82 million. We don't really know. We maybe expect it to be about 100 million only because they said 100 million, but we actually really have no idea. We don't know what their uh, their execution limit was either. I think I set mine to 40 or something. All right, well, we're watching. This is the number of ones that have halted. This is the number of ones we have to examine, and this is the number of ones left in the queue. You think 300 million? Oh, oh that's too many million. Steve Bezos is something faster. There's nothing faster than this. I don't know. What would be nice is if my multi-threadedness worked, but, you know, locks and stuff. Who hates locks? But then you're like, oh, use lock-free data structures, but then you have cache line contention, and that can be worse. Um, wow, boys, this is a lot of millions. I don't know what to say. I don't like this paper anymore. <laughs> That's the main thing I've learned, that I dislike this paper. They claimed that many is computed in that many seconds. They don't have... Oh, six states has gajillions. Why is it frozen? I'm only using 65, 66... 
Oh, I know why, because it's probably allocating a W-sized thingy. Those vectors can't be getting that large. For fast single server performance, you have OVH. Yeah, this, this should, I mean, it's, what do I have? Those are decent chips. Oh, finally, this number's going down. Oh, it's going down. Good, that number's going down. Ho ho! We're in luck. Number go down. Yeah, I think I think 300, you know? All right, I'm taking bets right now. Will the number be larger or smaller than the population of the United States? <laughs> I only printed once every 10,000. But yeah, that's probably true. It's gotta send those prints across the network. Uh-oh, we're not looking good. All right, what's the population of the US? Hmm. It's gonna be close. I'm betting pre or post COVID. I'm betting the over. I'm, I'm betting the over. I'm only taking the line for the under. If it goes over, you got the prime. All right. Uh oh. What if we run out of gigabytes on this computer? Don't worry, I have computers with more. No, oh, it's not frozen, it's just reallocating stuff. I didn't actually save the results anywhere, but we at least know that it's doable. I can have the server do this all night. Trust me, the server's bored, it told me. Oh, it's gonna be huge. This is how many steps it's run. This is where it is on the tape. Oh, that number's going down fast now. No, actually, you know what? I'm going under. I'm changing to under. Because I forgot that this number was actually already the sum of these two numbers. And if I forgot, I don't know what, what hope any, you know. Oh, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think it might even be under 300. I can't change? No, I changed my mind. Come on, last minute bet. I parlayed it. I parlayed it. I belayed that order. <laughs> the 64 thread CPU only use one thread. Ah, one thread. It's on core 15 now. Core 15, you can imagine little core 15 in there working so hard. Little core 15s, little core 15s never worked so hard in its life. No, I'm changing. I'm changing. I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, what should we do for Q&A today? Who has suggestions? Subscribers only Q&A? Maybe we should have left in the zero dextrous check. <laughs> Also, how many seconds did their thingy take? Well, that's a lot of seconds. 21 hours, damn! They should have written in high performance C++. No, I don't have a V4, I got a V3. You think I paid for V4s? No way, man, V4s are a scam. I mean, you do get faster RAM bandwidth, but I didn't buy no V4s. Yeah, those researchers are noobs. They should have written in high performance C++.
Yep. Your opinion on the UFO Pentagon stuff is exactly why it's going to be subscriber only. Yeah, the original Busy Beaver might have been theorized in the 60s, but they didn't have computers that look like this. They didn't have 252 gigabytes of RAM just sitting around doing nothing. Ah. That's the beauty of the future, you know? No, 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 it's going to be way lower. Oh, we got to pause again. We got to compact something. 102 gigabytes. That's a crazy amount. What's Hammer? Hammer is a company. The joke is the only thing you can apply for in Hammer is to be the founder. And then I reply to you with an email saying, congratulations, you're the founder. Go forth and make Hammer. Um, and then people are like, no, but I wanted guidance. And I'm like, well, you know, go to a VC for that shit, man. Um, yeah. Hammer. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, I want a number. I want a number. I want an output. Uh-oh, I am kind of scared we're going to run out of RAM. <laughs> I think the way these STL containers... Yeah, I compiled with 03. I think the way these STL containers work is they double. Oh, good. I have another 256 gigabytes of swap we can use to fill up with all the zeros. Bye-bye, RAM. Maybe it won't terminate. Mmm. Let me tell you all the truth, man. The Turing, the halting problem is solvable on any real computer. The theory only applies when the tape is infinite. And we can examine my tape. Oh, sweet, it's going again. We can examine my tape. And although my tape may look infinite, my tape is actually very bounded by this. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's our number. Mm. Our imp gets 276,413,630 possible machines to look at. All right, what do we think? So now we're just going to have to run all of these machines for this many steps. I know, so many machines. And we're going to have to find all the ones that have a repeated state, and then we're going to prove it. But the good news is, yeah, that output file is only going to be like a gigabyte. So it's something that we can realistically work with. So we might be able to, I don't know, we might be able to cut it down a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll thread that. Use vector reserve and place back. Always pass by reference. Yeah, this is open source. If someone wants to refactor, please refactor. Okay. Um, cool. One gigabyte text while holding the number. Zero dextrous feels unappreciated. We can try zero dextrous. We can add some of those things in and try to get that number down to like uh, a reasonable 100 million or something. Um, we could say. Cool. Uh, let's go subscriber only with the chat and let's do some Q&A out of here. Um, we're going to be streaming, well, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Streams are going to be more regular. Habitus, thank you for subscribing. Um, we're going to be uh, streaming hopefully more regularly. There will be more tests. There will be new ways to become VIP. Um, As it feels to be an Amazon employee, it's all right. Amazon's okay. 
Uh, new ways to lose VIP. No, we, no, one, no one has to lose VIP yet. Um, mostly the way people are going to lose VIP is if VIP people say some stupid stuff. It's not saying stupid stuff once, but if you say stupid stuff and I said you say stupid stuff and then you say stupid stuff again, that's when your VIP is gone. Um, but I'm not sure this is exactly going to be a problem. Uh, how do you get VIP? You have to pass one of the ultra elite tests. Um, so today, the only people who got VIP are the ones who passed the ultra elite test. Uh, well, these are all the new ones that came in. Let me, let me, I'll grade the new ones that just came in. Okay, despite me giving you the answers on the stream, a lot of people did badly. Uh, but yeah, well, you can't, I mean, you know, those tests obviously don't count because it was after I gave the answers away on the stream. But, um, if you could want, run one program on a Turing machine with an Oracle, what would it be? It's a good question. Uh, So you're saying it's an oracle. So do I really only get one bit of information out? I only get a yes or no? Um, if I only got a yes or no, I mean... Like, okay, so you, if you only get a yes or no, you can say, you can say like the following. Like you can ask the question like, does a proof to the Goldbach conjecture exist? That's probably the best thing I could come up with, at least in, in, in short periods of time. Um, or, yeah, I wouldn't want to say, that's a separate question from asking, is the Goldbach conjecture true, or is there a counterexample? Um... Bubble snot, we don't talk about anything remotely political here, like that kind of shit. Coronavirus was too political, and now we can't talk about it anymore. It sucks, but you know, you blame your local politician, vote for a different guy. Uh, have you considered using quantum tunneling to send data back in time? Uh, how far back in time? I mean, if you really could, right? Because that's the dream of all these high frequency traders. If you could, if you could, like, even if you could get, you know, a couple milliseconds of time travel, you could make a significant amount of money. Um, yeah, so the, yeah, the question would be, is Goldbach's conjecture provable? Basically like search using the rules of ZFC uh, for a proof of Goldbach's conjecture. Yeah, if we could send, if we could do like local little time travel, uh, that'd be a, that's a decent startup idea. Somebody should pitch that. Um, you guys know you can all subscribe and you can join right now. Uh, do I think we'll be able to go smaller than 0.6 nanometers to a transistor? I've heard that current transistors are like a thousand by a thousand by a thousand atoms. Uh, and it's also like transistor size and feature pitch are different things. Uh, full Wikipedia. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Don't I want to add things? Not really. Uh, this is live. When will the makeup test be? Next stream. Make sure to read the paper. Um, the makeup test will be harder as well. The tests will get harder, not easier. Today was the easiest test uh, for you. Rewatch the stream. You're a subscriber. You can you can watch the the VOD archive. How do you stay pampered? Oh, do you see my fangirl? Fangirl, I'm fangirl, get it? You're depending on the way to increase personal intelligence. Why don't you Google that? Why don't you Google that? Google's the right search engine for you. How many times have you failed to capture? Way too many. 
Um, will you check some hammer comments on here? All right. How did I get my local Wikipedia? Well, I, I went to every page on Wikipedia and I pressed save. Um, would you have Hammer's a new company? Uh, the money needs to be lower. Like $10 and add benefits for newcomers. God, see this guy can't even spell benefits. So, you know, Hammer's an elite search engine. Limit the searches for new users so they can try it out. Then make it $10 a month. What? Superhumans charging 30! 30! $3 a month. $30 a month. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Every, 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 since I've put Hammer out in the world, I'm realizing that we're never going to make Hammer. We're never going to. Google is the search engine the world deserves. Nah, 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 I killed her. Um, yeah, Google is the search engine. No, no, Hammer shouldn't be for everyone. What I realized was everybody really just wants Google. You guys all love listicles. You guys love listicles, and that's, that's the truth. Um... Nah, I'm not playing chess anymore. That sounds kind of pleasant. Maybe I'll go play some chess after this. Um, <laughs> I can improve it on dogs. How do you do it on Twitch non-subs? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I think we should do it on dogs first. Perfect our things. Jordan Diaz, don't spam. Yeah, you see, that's the great thing. Anyone who wants can be the founder of Hammer. You're the founder of Hammer. You get a hammer. You get a hammer. Um, I'm not. Uh, when am I heading back to San Diego? I got some things to do here. I got some things to do here. Um, I got, I got some things to do, uh, I'll be traveling for a bit, there's some, some announcements to be made, uh, no, 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 it's not just about getting laid, that's just the added benefit of being here, we get, we get, some things have to be done while I'm here, you know, um, take my sailboat, how many feet? Uh, I've always wanted to do like a big blue water uh, adventure on a sailboat. Uh, one of the two best fields to study in college. Uh, partying and Super Smash Brothers. Um, I don't know anything about laws or politics, man. I'm a math guy. Oh, 33 feet at a time. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not, uh, I gotta, I gotta get better. I gotta get better at sailing. Um, first. Uh, I really wanna play Smash 64, man. Pikachu. I'm willing, I'm willing to bet. If anyone on this stream thinks they could beat me at Smash 64, uh, let's bet $100. Um, oh, it's got an autopilot. That's sweet. Uh... Yeah, you know what else about boats? I looked once and I want to take a, well, a sail, a sail is the way to do it. I want to take a boat to, uh, to Hawaii. And if you take a powerboat to Hawaii, it costs six grand in gas. You know? Boats are like 50x less efficient than cars. Um, I'd consider a larger bet. Are you familiar with C? Uh, Classification of finite simple groups. So I, I realized I looked over this one. Um, we could we could try this on the next stream. Um, we could try this potentially on the next stream just by looking for the straight up symmetries like group theoretically um, in the uh, target machine space. And yeah, Jordan Diaz is uh, is timed out for the rest of the day. Um, I don't care if you're a subscriber. Don't spam. 
Cool guys. Uh, <laughs> cool. I'll think about it. Um, no, I, I, I gotta get better. I gotta get better at sailing before I actually trust myself on the ocean. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, maybe the test can be a CTF. I'm not saying all tests are gonna be are gonna be Google. Uh, are going to be Google Zeno's dichotomy. Why do people think infinite sum is a good answer to it? Infinity's not real, boys. Infinity's not real. Um, cool. Bye.